Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, in this video, I wanted to show you how you could use a computer power supply um, to help you troubleshoot some of your electrical problems in your car. Um, a computer power supply will get you 12 volts uh, DC, and of course, that's what your car mostly runs off of. Um, and it's close enough to where you know you can run your electric motors. And what we're looking at here is I got a, a rear um, window motor out of a 1990 Honda Accord and so I need it to move I'm cleaning it up because um, this is a salvage one I'm gonna put it in a car and I need it to move it up and down so I can clean up in spots so first I'll show you um, show you it works and then I'll give you some details on what it is I'm doing so let's see got my power supply on and a little info on how a window regulator works. All it does is you apply 12 volts in one direction, so negatives on one side and the positives on the other. And there it goes. And then to to switch it around, or the way your car works is it just um, switches the voltage around, negative to where the negative went and positive where the positive went. That's essentially how your uh, electric motor works in your for your uh, re your window. This is a rear window. The front window, same idea that they got like a scissor mechanism. So this is what it looks like for a rear window on a four door. So let me uh, give you some details on what I'm doing here. Hopefully the lighting's okay. Actually, I'm gonna freehand this. Oh, uh, maybe not. We'll see. So here you have a standard power supply, and uh, I got it off, and I'm going to unplug it just to be safe. Now in this particular power supply, um, I have an on-off switch. And if you ever accidentally touch the two leads that I'll show you down the line to let together, usually they have a safety interrupt inside these, and you'll pop that. And the way you um, get rid of that is you have to unplug the power supply, turn it off, wait a few seconds to turn it back on and that'll allow your interrupt to switch uh, to reset um, you can't just take a modern or modern-ish power supply and make it work uh, let me get this down a little bit here so what I got I'm gonna try to zoom in on this for you right there is your um, kind of like your main wire harness, and you take the the center pins, which it's your green and your brown, I believe it is. The lighting's really bad in here. You can just look this up on the internet; it'll tell you. It looks like green and black on this one, but I think it's supposed to be brown. But anyways, you you jumper that and that simulates having it plugged in so you can turn it on if you don't have this jumper in there most power supplies will not turn on so then what you want to do is grab one of your leads and uh, your red and <coughs> excuse me your red and black should be uh, 5 volts I believe and, uh, and your yellow and black is going to be your 12 volts and I highly recommend what you do is you get one of these. This had a, a dual set of these on it. Don't just cut them. I used to just cut them and strip them and stuff, and then you're dealing with frail, frail ends. Let me zoom on on this here for you. Hopefully that's showing up. Um, it's still got a connector on the end. And find one that hasn't been chopped up. Essentially what you want to do is you want to pull the plugs out and so you keep that crimp connector on the end um, and that I highly suggest that because then you don't have to worry about the end spring and then in my case I just got some uh, jumper cables or jumper cables they call them alligator clips and you can clip on see I clipped on down there and, uh, and then I just use these sewing needle pins 
this allowed me to probe. And in fact, let me zoom in on that connector there and how I did that. So right here, on this end, it's kind of hard to hook something up on there because it's meant to be connected. So you just back probe on almost every connector. You can just slide the pin into the back and you won't damage anything. And uh, you can get your uh, continuity or, you know, you have it connected up that way. And uh, just for gee whiz, the way these windows regulators work is, like I said, you just put a... You put your negative lead on one side and your positive lead on the other, and that'll cause the motor to turn one direction. And then to turn it the other direction, you just flip the leads around, and then it turns the other direction. And uh, when you use those switches in your door panels, essentially that's what happens when you push it one direction, it applies power one direction, and the other way, the a different direction, the opposite direction. Anyway, so I thought I'd just make this video showing how you can use your old computer power supply. It comes in pretty handy for... Uh, troubleshooting electrical work and if you like this video hit like and uh, hopefully this helps you out a little bit get a little bit of understanding on uh, things simple things you can do around it's a lot easier than lugging a battery around anyways I'll talk to you later thank you